All right, fellow AMC stockholders. XMAX Trading here. Yeah, filthy apes. So we'll go over some new updates on AMC. Second one for today on December 27th. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and let's get started. So AMC is estimated to make over $34 billion in 2022. So Spider-Man made over $9 billion, made over a billion in nine days. One movie in 2022, uh, and 2022 is filled with high-demand movies like Top Gun 2. Here are some bullish movies coming out in 2022, and why do you think it can make over $34 billion? So if these are billion-dollar movies, then yeah, I mean, Mission Impossible is coming out. Uh, another one in the franchise, Avatar 2, The Expendables 4, Top Gun 2, Batman, The Flash, Morbius, Doctor Strange, Black Adam, uh, Uncharted Buzz Lightyear, Disney movies are coming out, Star Wars, Thor, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, Jurassic World, Mission Impossible Extras, Harry Potter Dumbledore, Aquaman 2, and the list goes on if you like movies. So these are... You know, could be a billion dollar. Well, the franchises are huge, right? These franchises are multi billion dollars, and so some of these movies could could get close to a billion dollars, just like Spider Man, um, No Way Home. Now, The Matrix Four, I think, is um, doesn't have as great reviews, but I think it still could generate good good revenue. And all you need is like at least one home run, and a Spider Man movie is a big home run. All right, and then so. Here's an interesting post. Due to, uh, so the AMC short thesis was due to the fear created by the virus, people would stay would stop going to theaters and turn to streaming, and AMC would go bankrupt. Well, the reality is that the short thesis is dead. In fact, the lockdowns had the opposite effect, as people didn't like being stuck in their homes, and the theater business was revived. Spider-Man has has the second biggest opening week ever, over one billion in revenue in just in just a week. No more lockdowns. Restructure and deferred debt, acquired new locations, near record highs, short interest, and days to cover. Two, two Ortex short squeezes in one week. Quote on CNBC said the short squeeze rally into January. That was quoted on CNBC. I can't find the actual video, the, the full length video clip. We, we've seen the we've seen the parts of it on, on Twitter. New, of course, short squeeze stuff is not financial advice. New NFT and popcorn business. Nearly 90% owned by retail per recent Adam Aaron interview. No one is selling and shorts have no way out. Shorts have no way home, right? So that's pretty amazing that despite the synthetic shares created, which we, which retail figured out was going on, probably because of GME first, but then it was happening to AMC, the, the, you know, the, uh, the high-frequency trading to make the stock price go down, creating synthetic shares, all these FUD articles, the dark pool trading, retail has figured this out, right? We're like online, you know, solving a crime online. And uh, so the, the main point with retail, which makes perfect sense, they, they own the actual shares and probably the fake shares, which at some point they got to they gotta buy back. So not financial advice, but you know, retail did not invent the short selling game. We just figured out how this game is played. And you know, so the whole, the whole synthetic shares uh, manipulation is a loophole. But the loophole to the loophole is buying up the entire float, which they thought was never possible. But with the age of the internet and smart retail and having some uh, available cash on the sidelines, yeah, we're able to buy up the float. And all people, their own individual decisions buy the float. You know, and uh, it's pretty pretty amazing. So Benzaga has come out. They're always talking negative about AMC. Now if something's going to happen, they want to come up with some positive article so they can not look like, not look like complete idiots. Talking about AMC could go ape into 2022. So let's talk about it. So AMC Entertainment CEO Adam Aaron talks transformation. He's why the stock could go ape heading into 2022. AMC was trading slightly higher on Monday, confirming an uptrend. Benzaga called out December 22nd. Yeah, right. Whatever. The stock has fallen 43% between uh, November 30th and December 14th, so it fell 43% after breaking bearishly from a long-term, a long-term triangle. AMC has been consolidating since June 2nd, an all-time high of $72. The reason why it broke down bearishly because the end of the year, right? So a lot of hedge funds may sell into the end of the year for tax reasons. The stock has been pressured by high-level high level insider selling and not really. Those executives include Adam Aaron cashing out over $70 million in stock over this year. That is a portion of his stock, not all of it. 
and he cashed out at a lower price than he could have. He could have cashed out at fifty dollars, but he put that uh, he put that uh, business order with J.P. Morgan. They sold it towards the end of the year. He was transparent about it for many months, so they're just trying to slander him. And CNBC's market alert in December 20th, Adam Aaron will be holding over two million worth of AMC shares heading to 2022 and receives 60% of his salary in stock. During the interview, Aaron said the mistake he believes analysts are making is that they're not taking into account the transformation AMC plans to continue making. We have already announced, for example, we're dabbling in crypto. We've already announced our participation with three NFTs, which I think will have a distribution of about 70, 700,000 NFTs. We've announced we're going into the $6 billion home popcorn market. And those are some just some of the ideas we have. Despite the big, pullock, big pullback in insider selling, hashtags such as apes together strong, apes not leaving, have continued to trend, trend on social media. Aaron is held in high regard with the ape community as a figure who wants to take on Wall Street elite head on by communicating directly with shareholders. Aaron took to Twitter saying, AMC and I are, very, are on the very forefront of the democratization of Wall Street. Ten years from now, all CEOs will tweet. He also indicated he'll never forget 2021 for getting a nickname and the hilarious memes. AMC stock may be gathering steam for another run higher as 2022 approaches because it may, because it may, because it has settled on a bullish pattern on the daily chart. The AMC chart, AMC may be set up for a, a right shoulder on the bullish head and shoulder pattern. The left shoulder formed between December 1st and December 9th. The head created between 10th and 21, and the right shoulder potentially about halfway printed. If the pattern is recognized, no guarantees, not financial advice, the measured move is about 50%, which indicates AMC could uh, trade up to $47 level in the future. On Monday, AMC was printing a, hammer, a bullish hammer candlestick on the daily chart, which indicates the stock may trade higher on Tuesday. If it does, the stock will break up bullishly from the neck and line shoulder pattern, and bullish traders can watch for a higher than average volume on the break to confirm the pattern was recognized. AMC is trading above the 8-day exponential moving average but below the 21-day EMA with the 8-day EMA trading trending below the 21 EMA. If AMC is able to capture the 21 EMA support and hold above it for a period of time, the 8-day will cross above the 21-day which will be bullish. Yes, yeah, so right now the 21-day is above is above the 8-day, but if we can capture the 8-day and then capture the 21-day you know, then all of a sudden those lines will cross and 8-day will be above the 21, then we'll be good. Bulls want to see a, a big bullish volume come in and break up and break AMC up from the head and shoulders pattern. There's resistance above at 29 and 31. Bears want to see AMC continue to break the neckline and the pattern for a big bearish volume drop. To stock down to support level of 25 below the area and further support at 20 and 17. See, I feel like this manipulation, guys. I mean, this this pennant should have broken upwards because it was but you know i don't know man them dark pools you know it's all them dark pools uh. all right guys pretty interesting stuff we're gonna see what happened tomorrow on for tuesday so um anyway guys stick with the channel and we'll talk to you later later